Lauren Culp here, publisher and CEO at cwinsight.com. And I am back again with another three questions video interview. And this one I'm really excited about. Joining me today is a very special guest. We have Mark Arnold here, who is the founder and CEO of On The Mark Strategies. Hi, Mark. How are you? Great, Lauren. Thanks so much for having me on. It's a real honor to be with you today. Thank you so much. We're excited. Thanks so much for taking the time. Well, we're talking today about some important topics I know credit unions are thinking a lot about. We're talking about lending, we're talking about marketing. So let's just dive right in. We know that credit unions across the country are really struggling with loan volume right now. So yes. how would you suggest that they tackle that problem? Great question. It is a real challenge because with all the stimulus checks, all the money coming in, credit unions are being flooded with deposits. We've got to be able to loan that money out. And I'll tell you, it's probably not so much of a loan challenge as it is a marketing challenge. We've really got to get our marketing messages right on the loan side. You do that, your loan volume will pick up. And I think there are three ways today that credit unions can really tackle the loan challenge with their marketing specifically. Uh, the first is to keep their marketing messages simple in terms of loans. A lot of times when you're trying to market loans, you try and market everything and you fire hose. We've got all these loans, all these different products. And in addition to that, we've got all these other products like Gap and Warranty and all this kind of stuff. And you just, you fire hose the consumer. And the challenge is you can lose your messaging in that. So keep the marketing messages. It's very, very simple. Donald Miller famously says, if you confuse, you lose. Mm -hmm. And I think that's spot on when it comes to marketing loans. Rather than confuse your members with multiple messages, Really zero in and focus on that. So that would kind of be the first tip. The second tip I would recommend is that you conduct a marketing assessment. Really look at your marketing. Marketing has changed forever because of the pandemic. Uh, the way we did things in the past is not the way that's going to be effective now or in the future. But you can't move forward until you assess where you are right now with your marketing. So dive into do a marketing assessment specifically geared towards your loans and I think that will automatically also improve your loan volume as well. And then I think the third step you can do when it comes to marketing and lending is get creative. Do something different. Do something unique when it comes to uh, your creative side. And we've had clients do a digital spin the wheel for a prize or whatever it might be. Something to capture someone's attention. Do something unique and different. I think if you do those things, if you simplify your marketing message, if you conduct a marketing assessment, and if you get creative with your loan messaging, do all three of those things, your loan volume will pick up. That's amazing. Well, and I, you're talking a lot about marketing here. So how do you think those lending strategies and marketing strategies really tie together? They are totally linked together because they really are tied together. Now, on the loan pro process side, I think it really is looking on two aspects of your loan side. It's your product and your processes. So you need to look at your loan products. Do you have the right loan mix? Are there some new and different type loans that you can do now in light of the pandemic? Even as we're coming out of the pandemic, people are now starting to think about different things and doing different things. Are there some, is there a post-pandemic loan you can create? So look at your products on the loan side, but also look at your processes on the loan side as well. How can you make getting a loan at your credit union easier? We often do this exercise with our strategic planning clients. We ask them, do the hurdle exercise. Look to see where are their hurdles for your members to get the loan and then remove those hurdles. The reality is if you're a sprinter and you're just sprinting down the 100 meter dash, you're going to go a lot faster if there aren't any hurdles in your way. It's the same way with your loan processes. Where have you created those hurdles for your members to do loans? So on the loan side, look at your products, look at your processes. And then on the marketing side, look at your promotions, look to see how you can make them more creative, but they're totally linked together. You can't go out there and market these loans if you don't have a great product in place. You also can't market your loans if, if it takes forever to get a loan. You know, how many taps does it take to get a loan at your credit? You know, how many clicks, how many taps on your phone does it take? That's all about the process. You can have the best marketing in the world, but if your product isn't good, if your process is too slow, it doesn't matter. So those are totally linked together. That makes so much sense. And I know as credit unions are really thinking about their marketing budgets right now, some oh, of yeah. them maybe not getting that income through the loans is going to impact their decision. So what kind of marketing budget should they have if they're not getting a ton of income through their loans? Oh, love that question. You know, we get that question all the time. How much did we spend on marketing? Get that question all the time. And I just have a simple three word answer. More 
much more, right? I'm just kidding, of course. But the reality is you do have to look at your marketing budget. That's one thing an assessment does. And we have a formula we put our clients through to say, okay, how much are you spending on marketing based on a number of factors, your asset size, where you are, uh, what markets you are in, who you're trying to reach. There's multiple, multiple factors to go into what should you spend in marketing. Don't necessarily look at peers. Don't necessarily look at what you did last year. Look to see what are your strategic objectives and base your marketing budget on what you're trying to achieve objectively on your strategies. And then from there, build your marketing budget around that. And there's some formulas you can use. We can dive into that a little bit in, in more detail, but you really look to see some key factors in there that drive that marketing budget. So I tease it's more, much more, but the reality is if you're wanting to grow your loans, you're gonna to need to spend the majority of your marketing dollars on the loan side, doing things like investing in your existing members. A lot of Creightons are trying to go out there now and do member acquisition. That's all well and good but that's very, very expensive. The cost of member acquisition today is very high. So one way you can grow your credit and grow your loan volume particularly is to focus on your existing member. So do things in your marketing, on your marketing budget, like close the back door. You know, for every one member coming in the front door, a lot of creatives have one member going out the back door. So spend your marketing dollars on closing that back door, increase member retention. Honestly, credit units can really increase their net income, increase their ROA just by really closing that back door and by focusing not necessarily on member acquisition, but member retention, right? If you just get all of your existing members to add one more product or service for household, your numbers would skyrocket, not by adding new members, but getting more out of your existing. That doesn't mean new members aren't important, but that's probably where you need to be investing a lot of your marketing resources now is on, 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 the, on the member retention side as well as on the lending side. It, this is such an interesting conversation. I think we could talk about this for, for ever, sure. probably thinking about, and I know a lot of our audience today is really struggling with that deposits question. So this has been super valuable. So Good. as we wrap up here, do you have any last thoughts you'd like to leave for our audience today? Yeah, I would say one final tip, just a trend that we're seeing out there as far as what are successful credit unions doing and where are they investing their marketing dollars to grow the loan volume particularly. And that is on content marketing, really focusing in on the content side, which includes social, includes digital, but really is pumping out the content. And we suggest almost a hub and spoke approach where maybe your blog is the hub and you have lots of spokes off of that blog. You turn that blog into uh, you know, a, an Instagram post, into a Facebook post. You turn part of it, you pay part of it into an infographic, all kinds of ways you can do that, but really emphasize content especially as you think about lending, right? As your, your members have loan pain points right now, they do. And so understand where are their pain points when it comes to lending? And then you are the solution for that and market that, put content out there about how you can solve their loan challenges. I will tell you, members don't wake up every day thinking, I need a loan. They're not thinking about loans. They're not thinking about that. They're thinking, you know, my car is broken down. How am I going to get to work, Right. How am I going to pay for child care? How am I going to pay for this, this vacation that I want to take my family on that I didn't get to go the last two years? That's what they're thinking about. So that's their pain. So look to see where are their pain points and solve that from a loan perspective. And then you do that really through content marketing. Push out the content, content, content. I think if you do that, you will see your loan volume increase. That is amazing. And what a perfect way to uh, wrap up today. But I'm sure that there are folks out there who would love some more information from you and your team. So we will be sure to put contact information for you and put the whole On The Mark Strategies team in the post here so that everybody who wants to get involved, get some more information on all, all of the thought leadership that you've got around lending and marketing and, and the ways that those tie together. So again, Mark, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. This has been a great conversation. I think I learned a lot here and I'm excited for the audience because I know that they did Great. too. Thanks so much, Lauren. Appreciate you and all that CU Insight is doing. You guys are fabulous. And speaking of content, no one's putting out the content more than CU Insights. So thank you. Well, thank you. We love all the content that you contribute as well. Mark, I hope you have a great rest of your thank day you. and we'll chat soon. Thanks, Lauren. Take care. Have a great day. Bye Take now. Care.